What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this. I actually bought two of them. I uh, wanted to show it to you. It's from IDS Home. It's a lamp. I wanted something that was a little modern, uh, maybe a little trendy, but uh, kind of uh, warm feeling and cozy. And this is kind of, I don't know what you would call it, but it's its basically it's a kind of an industrial style, contemporary style lamp in that it's like a, just a metal arm base with a, a kind of a glass uh, shield um, kind of cone around it and then the bulb that just hangs down so I was really hoping to use this with an Edison bulb and just kind of create like a, a, a nice warm feeling uh, but have a minimalist lamp because one of the things that I think a lot of us deal with is that you know I always want more room and more space but you kind of are stuck with what you have and so if you can kind of keep a lamp uh, pretty minimalist it kind of makes the space feel a little more open and uh, you know spacious because one of the problems is uh, the lampshades on a lot of lamps are so big that they just kind of block you know your view to the outside between people uh, obviously you can see here it comes uh, pretty well looks like it comes pretty well packaged two big blocks of styrofoam and here we have the glass globe that goes around the bulb you can see it's kind of pear-shaped. It kind of reminds me of like those old oil lamps. Uh, it has three holes drilled up here at the top, and uh, there's a little bit of marring around the holes, but I get that because you're drilling through glass. Um, it's not the thickest glass in the world, but it's not too thin either. It kind of feels like a, uh, a juice glass kind of glass, but uh, the edges are kind of rolled and um, right there. But it, like I said, it kind of looks like an old school lamp a little bit. And then here's the lamp. So I guess, you know, there's really nothing to put together. So we'll be able to kind of dive into it and see what this sucker looks like pretty quickly. Oh, just keep in mind, you know, little bits of styrofoam flying everywhere. And here is the lamp base itself. Now, it comes with this attached, and it doesn't look like there's any super easy way in, except for tearing it off. And here it is. Now, some things I do want to note, and I didn't know these beforehand. It's not a, kind of an ideal situation for me. The cord um, is kind of is is a clear plastic with uh, the silver wire in, inside. So it looks pretty modern and trendy, but one of the things that I was really hoping not to have is, there's uh, some lightning, um, is to have the switch on the uh, the cord itself. I'd, I'd rather have like a switch up here on the, the lamp portion, you know, just for convenience, because when they're gonna drape down off a table or something like that, it's a little bit of a pain, uh, but it is what it is. And the cord looks like it's pretty long here having some pretty good storms out here in Chicago at the moment. And uh, so you should be able to kind of put this under a nightstand or under a bed or behind a desk without a problem. So there we go. I call it six feet. And then you can see here, um, I do like the material. It has five little foam pads on the bottom so you don't have to worry about scratching. Kind of a C-shaped base here. Uh, but the, the, the bulb is just slightly off center, so it's not going to be pu pulling straight down. And let's take this tag off. But then you have this kind of, oh, let's call it like a brushed nickel finished along the whole thing here. And so it, uh, it looks like modern and, you know, nice, li nicely made. There is a warning label around the... Uh, the light bulb screw and socket right here, which is kind of not very attractive. Um, it does say uh, 40 watt max. I'm going to use an LED, so it shouldn't be an issue, but uh, seems to come off. Looks like it leaves a little bit of residual. The the, um, the light bulb, um, you know, base here is in silver. It's not a it's like a really traditional silver. It, it's a little bit brighter than the finish on the lamp bar itself, but. That's okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is there are three little screws, three little um, screws that screw in here, and this is what's gonna hold the glass on. Now, what I will show you here is that uh, two of the screws have little like silicone or plastic collars on the base, so I think that they don't rattle on the glass. One of them does not, so I'm a little disappointed about that. I mean, it's not a kind of a big thing, I think, but one of them is missing the little plastic uh, cover. So that kind of disappoints me a little bit. Just kind of make sure that it's not rattling around in the glass too much, but is what it is. Now, let's get a bulb, put it in, and try it out. Okay, so you want to install the glass first, and then I do have an LED um, 
Edison style bulb here and then you're just gonna screw it in here I think it's just a standard E2627 type of light bulb base so I'll screw that in just like that now let's plug it in and try it out and boom there it is now I have four um, little LED elements in here but you know obviously this is way yellow on the color scale which is great I kind of wanted it to look a little old-fashioned you know the fact that this is shaped the way it is a little old-school um, you know I wouldn't have mind if it were a straight conical type of uh, glass uh, shield too but I think this looks great it's easy to get the bulb in there uh, warm white light like I said you don't have it diffused through a lampshade so you do want to go with something that's easier on the eyes that isn't super bright because people might kind of look at it directly uh, so I think this is a great overall little thing now it's not too tall let me give you a measurement just about 21 and a quarter inches tall and in fact I'll tell you the widest part of the base is uh, 8 inches wide so you know 21 inches tall 8 inches wide fits a lot of things as you can see here nicely made a nice solid construction but minimalist Keep the, keeps uh, room clean, makes it feel a little uh, open and airy. Um, and with this Edison bulb, I think it's a winner. So check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. The best part about this is they're not expensive, under 50 bucks a lamp. And so if you need to add a lot of light, you know, you can pick up these in multiples um, and add light that, that all matches, gives you a good contemporary clean style. Peter Von Banda out.